Bruce Lawn. Plans up on Spotify. Produced by my brother, OK Hip Hop, who's a phenomenal producer. We're going to be cooking more stuff up. This beat came in from him, and I was going to do it as an exclusive drop for my man L with 210 Apparel. And we ended up kind of calling an audible and said, yo, I got to put this out. I've been sitting on this beat too long. The beat is crazy. And we're going to be doing uh, more music together. It's available on all streaming platforms. Let's just go through it. My time, my mind. What am I? What am I? What could be? Mortify. What could be? Fortify. Certified. Chrome man. Total line. No man. Who am I? Sort of guy. Borderline. No man. Hit the bag. Gotta throw hands. Get the pack on my old friends. On my day one still here. And I ain't got time to hold hands with a chrome man or anybody. Ironic part about this whole verse is I rewrote all of this. I tell rappers all the time, rewrite your verses, rewrite them again. Don't be afraid to go the extra mile, okay? So the, the opening of this is kind of tying into the, the, love, uh, the first Love It song. My time, my mind, what am I? Worker be mortified. So this is channeling that entrepreneurial spirit that we talk about buying back your time and, and the heart behind that, right? So love what you do. You first got to love what you do before you do what you love. Okay, so it's tying into those same themes, and I'm talking about, hey, my time is worth a lot to me. I'm grateful to have built it out in a way where I could buy back my time, because I don't want to be just a worker bee. What could be? Fortify, certified, grown man. Certified, grown man. I'm a certified grown man. Some of y'all is certified. I'm a certified grown man. Toe the line, no ma'am. Toe the line, toe the line, no ma'am. Uh, sometimes the critique that I get on this channel is like, oh man, you're always like trying to play the fence. You're always trying. And I'm saying like, no, I, I don't play the fence. I'm, 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 I'm straightforward on what I'm about. No oh, man, who am I? Sort of guy, borderline, no mad. Hit the who am I? Sort of guy, borderline, no mad. I mean, that's to me, that's just a fire, fire bar sequence. Um, bag, gotta throw hands. Get the bag on my old friends. Hit the bag, gotta throw hands, right? I, I, once I, when I start getting in shape, hitting the bag, I love hitting the bag. Get the bag on my old friends. Get the bag on my old friends. All my day ones still here. All my day ones still here. And I ain't got time to hold hands. All my day ones still here, and I ain't got time to hold hands. Uh, there's a lot of people in my life that have been in my life from the early early, early, early on in the process. Um, like I'm going to Tampa this weekend. I'm bringing my brother Marcus Averhart, who I've known since eighth, eighth, ninth grade. I play basketball Wednesdays and Fridays. I see guys there that I've known since eighth grade. So I think there's something to having people in your life that you've known since high school, like people that really know you and they're not just there to be intrigued by your quote unquote success or whatever. That's a big value of mine. I like having people around me that have been here before anything was was lit. I've known my wife since I was 18, 17. We started dating at 19, right? So my, my all my day ones are still here. All the folks that I've known uh, in high school, a lot of them are still in my life, and uh, and, I, and I'm super grateful for that. Pro man or anybody, only slow dance for my own wife, and slow jams and the ice. Only slow dance with my own wife, any ID Asian from that is highly unlikely. That's what the bar is. Only slow dance with my own wife, any ID Asian from that is highly unlikely. Any ideation from pursuing other other women is highly unlikely. Uh, impossible, dare I say. Asian from that is highly unlikely. I do it politely. I do it politely. Tripping like I drip, drip, drip. My fluids are high key. Sip, sip, sip. Living water, so I pity power. You fit on your art like Tai Chi. I do it politely. It's tripping like I drip, drip, drip. My fluids are high key. Sip, sip, sip. Living water, so I pity power. You fit on your art like Tai Chi. So, living water, sip, sip, sip. Right, drip, 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 sip, sip, sip. I'm sipping on the living water, living water. While you pity party, you fake, you fake martial art, you fake martial art like Tai Chi. It's uh, uh, Zach Sparazzo had the idea of like fake martial arts. Tai Chi is it really a martial art, like a UFC martial art, or is it, is it a fake martial art? Meaning that it's just like movements and like right. It's more for the look and less for the for the actual tactical. Co competitive side of martial arts. A lot of folks that are faking it, they're looking the part, but they're not actually about it. Yerba Mate isn't mighty. Like Yerba Mate isn't mighty. That's that's what I be sipping on. Holy Spirit is inside me. Yerba Mate isn't mighty. Like Holy Spirit is inside me. I get the sentiment, something's off. Keep living my life to the Son of Man, Son of God. I get this sentiment, something's off, keep living my life to the Son of Man, Son of God. So I'm looking around, I'm looking around the space that I'm in, and I'm getting the sentiment, 
something's off here. I'm going to keep living my life to the son of, son of man, son of God. That's that duality uh, on this side of eternity and in the, in the, in the, in the, in the new heaven and new earth to come. The, the, I keep living my life to the son of man, son of God. Okay, So the son of man is the one title for Jesus. The son of God is another title for Jesus. Uh, fully, fully human, fully God. Okay. A sinner, the saint, saint, feeling so odd. E two ten, new in him, ain't a facade. A sinner, the saint, saint, feeling so odd. A sinner, the saint. My identity is now uh, a saint. I am not a sinner, regardless on what anybody would say. Sinner, the saint, saint, feeling so odd. E two ten, new in him, ain't a facade. Two ten, new in him, ain't a facade. Stand up, man up. Need to see them hands up. Ran up, plans up. Need to get the bands up. I need to get them plans up. Need to see them hands up. Stand up, man up. Need to see them hands up. Ran up, plans up. Need to see them hands. Pretty straightforward. Stand up, hands up. Need to see them hands up, right? Call and response in the tradition of hip hop. Uh, that's my son on the the ad libs. I intentionally have my son on a lot of this new project doing ad libs so that uh, we can create his own distro kit for him and create his own publishing form so money can start trickling in for him. Um, he's progressing musically. Like I walked in, I got a video of him playing chords today, right? So he's six, learning music. So I want to give him a, a small percentage of the stuff that he's contributing. And so the, I also did the boom, 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 right? I, I love that ad lib. This is going to sound whack, but I love the ad lib from Griselda, and I wasn't going to just jack the ad lib. So I said, I'm going to have my son do the ad lib so that uh, it doesn't sound like a Griselda ad lib, right? So you guys, I don't know if y'all know who Griselda is. Um, Stand up, man up. Need to see them hands up. Ran up, plans up. Need to see them hands, hands, hands. Crafted with skill, asking his will, it'll be given. Crafted with skill, asking his will, it'll be given. Master with skill, passively build, I've been living. Master with skill, passively build, I've been I've been living. Passively build, right? Talking about passive income. Asking his will, passively build. Passively build, I've been living. Under my means, hunger, it seems, keeps me driven. Run it up, please, hunt it up, peace, ain't no limit. Cause under my means, I've been living. Run it up, please. Hundred a piece, ain't no limit. So under my means, I talk a lot about living under your means, living under your your what, what you can afford. If you can't buy it twice, you can't afford it. And so it's kind of touching on some of that financial literacy and the the mentality of building something out that is truly passive. And 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 a passive business is when you can make money in your sleep. I need properties outside the city limits. See, I got people I need to care for. No, I ain't fibbing. See. I need properties outside the city limits. See, I got people I need to care for. No, I ain't fibbing. See, I got people I care for in my real life. I got people I take care of. That is the driver for me to uh, make income and to, to, to be faithful because there's people that uh, God's providentially positioned me to help and change the trajectory of their lives. And I don't talk about it in particular too much just because I like to keep them private. But yeah, so that's why I need properties outside the city limit. And then this is, this is one of my favorite bars. Shout out to the haters that help me to make a living. Please keep on watching AdSense. Don't come with any receipts. Shout out to the haters. They help me to make a living. See, AdSense. Uh, keep on watching. AdSense doesn't come with any receipts. I'm dropping a video today that it's actually on my Instagram now, but it'll be a YouTube short where it be, it, it flashes my AdSense for uh, what have generated. I think in this year alone. So uh, look out for that, or you can go and follow me on the gram, and you can see the little. It's a little. It goes up, and then it shows what we generated from AdSense in 2021. And so, people who watch, even if they ma if they're mad or if they're angry at me, uh, still contribute to my success, whether they understand that or not. So shout out to them. From the departed, skip the rations. I can be subjected to learning from what is classless. I can be rejected from progress when you move backwards. From the departed, skip the rations. I talk about coming from Mother Russia, rations, food. I can't be subjected to uh, to learning from what is classless. A lot of this stuff that we're seeing here, uh, in my opinion, lacks class, lack, lacks tact, lacks common sense, um, lacks charity. I think how we communicate things is just as important as what we communicate. How you say something is just as important as what you're saying. My money's no longer tucked under my mama's mattress. Why? That last bar is interesting. My mother's no longer, my money is no longer tucked under my mother's mattress. That's a bar kind of alluding to illegal money. Okay. Now, 
the interesting thing about illegal money is you you don't put it in bank accounts. You tuck it under your mom's mattress, or you tuck it under your mattress. You put it in a shoebox, so on and so forth. Now, as you get further along this spectrum as an entrepreneur, early on you start generating money. You're not generating a whole lot of money, but the taxes on it is crazy. Like because you're an entrepreneur, you're playing a self-employment tax, which is like your all your other taxes combined that, you, you know, half of it is your, your job pays for, the other half you pay for. Okay, so when you're self-employed, you're paying more taxes. So what you do is you write off a lot of things. And so it's kind of like you're finessing the taxes be, by having more deductions. As you go further on that process, you don't want to do that. You don't want to, you don't want to sit here and finesse stuff. You want to claim more. And so I'm actually in a season where I, we now have a, a salary we make. Taxes come out every single month because I'm an actual employee of King's Dream LLC. Zach is an employee. My wife is an employee of King's Dream LLC. So we're, we're actually having to claim more because as you progress in your life and you want to do stuff like buy property, you want to do stuff like make investments, you actually need to claim more on your taxes. So my money's no longer sucked under my mother's mattress. I'm not sitting here trying to finesse or trying to do anything. I'm actually claiming more on my taxes so that I can make some of the other progressions that I need to make in terms of building my net worth. So that's one of those little 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 tidbits of it's kind of alluding to illegal activities, but most folks when they become entrepreneurs, they 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 claim the bare minimal and they write off a whole lot. But at some point, you gotta actually start claiming more and claiming a solid income for yourself if you ever wanna go and buy a house, if you ever wanna go and make investments, if you ever wanna start a venture capital firm, if you ever want right. So that's kind of that bar uh, you know, cloth cloth talk, I guess if you will. I get the sentiment, something's off. Keep living my life to the son of man, son of God. A sinner, the saint, saint feeling so odd. E210, new in him, ain't a facade. Stand up, man up, need to see them hands up. Ran up, plans up, need to get them bands up. I need to get them plans up. Need to see them hands up, stand up, man up. Need to see them hands up, ran up, plans up. Need to get them bands up. I need to get them plans up. Need to see them hands up. So that's the song, Plans Up. So on all streaming platforms now. Go run those numbers up, ladies and gentlemen, if you could. The link is in the description for that. Uh, the whole album, the full project, it comes out Friday, October 1st. But if you are a Patreon partner, you can go and you can stream it right now. And I recommend you go do that because it's on Patreon. Um, Right now, the whole record is on there. You can check out the whole thing. I think you guys will enjoy it. Features my brother Foggy Raw on the intro. It features Nick D. Uh, it features Trey Little. It features my man Conscience. And a lot of folks have been asking for the new music. New music is here. It's on Patreon right now. And I want to make sure you guys don't miss this. Keep talking about like evolving how I make art, evolving how we release stuff. I don't want to just put out music or just drop apparel. I really want it to be attached with something that is going to move the needle in your life, right? And so the Love What You Do is a three-day challenge virtual event happening this week, this upcoming week. I want you guys to sign up for it. And we're going to be doing devotional content, uh, implementation stuff for you. And the folks that go through this will be the first ones to have access to the apparel and all that kind of stuff. Go sign up for it because I think you guys will uh, will appreciate what we're going to be doing. And then, of course, uh, the apparel, all that stuff is coming. The album's coming. King Stream Entertainment. Bruce Lawn. Yo, thank you so much for making it to the end of this video. If you found it valuable, considering giving it a like and subscribing. This month, I'm releasing the Love What You Do collection. And to celebrate, I'm doing a three-day virtual event to help us go from learning to love what we do to ultimately doing what we love. By the way, it's free. So hit the link in the description to grab your seat today. <laughs>